Greetings and thanks for joining us on the show floor of Infocom 2016 here in Las Vegas. We're on the last day of the show and we've had tremendous response from our audience who visited us. I just want to quickly in the next two minutes walk you through the highlights of the show floor if you haven't had a chance to visit us. The first and foremost of our MX our DX and our SX line of video conferencing solutions are now registered into the cloud. So if you have an interest in that sort of a solution, you're an organization that doesn't wish to invest in infrastructure, you can now experience Cisco video conferencing on our uh, well-recognized award-winning endpoints by simply registering them directly through Spark into the cloud. So that got a lot of attention from many of our participants. Another area, as you know, we have a lot of uh, universities, corporations, schools that have an interest in education and uh, we have this presenter track solution that's done really well and gotten, gotten their attention. What it does is that if you have remote users watching a lecture and the instructor starts to pace back and forth, sometimes the instructor falls out of the frame creating a jarring experience for the remote students. This takes away from that. It's an automatic tracking tool that allows the unit to follow the presenter along as they're making the presentation, making the experience seamless for the remote students. So that has gotten a lot of attention from many organizations that have come and visited. Another area that got the attention of many of the integrators as well as um, uh, resellers was a um, that was an upgrade, which is on our touch panel that generally controls our video conferencing units, can also now control our peripherals. So things like lighting, sc uh, screens, and uh, curtains can now be controlled from the same touch panel that controls your video conferencing unit on the room. So there's no more the jarring problem that many users face when they get there. They see two panels, one to control the peripherals and one to control the video conferencing and just consolidate on one. And the last thing I wanted to point out is a lot of attention from our customers is Akano, an investment that we made into an organization. The problem there being that many of our Fortune 1000 companies are feeling that with Skype for Business already in the mix and Cisco Video Conferencing Solutions already in the mix, they need to bring the two together and create the conversation to have a seamless conferencing experience. Akano lets them do that. It allows you to have your Skype for Business users along with the video endpoint users of uh, Cisco or even other third-party uh, organizations combine and, and deliver a seamless experience for the user. So with that, I hope you found the review valuable. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for joining.